Hey guys, before the video gets started, just want to let you know I am going to be going live in the VIP club tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time after posting this video. The link will be in the description if you want to join. And it's not just live streams, it's also giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts, and you can watch all the YouTube videos commercial free. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and feeling great. Today I want to talk about silver, gold, and also cash, and not only how important they could be and how helpful and useful they can be for the long term, but how they could be really significant in the short term during financial emergencies. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out, the link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really really appreciate that any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated but today is november 11th 2020 do you know what that is not only is it veterans day happy veterans day thank you to all who served and fought for our beautiful country you are appreciated we are grateful we are thankful. Thank you. But it's also been eight years since Hurricane Sandy. And I know that a lot of hurricanes are going on in the world right now. I know that we've had plenty of hurricanes in the past, some of which were way worse than Hurricane Sandy. But I wanted to talk about Hurricane Sandy from 2012 because that was the first time in my life from my own personal experience, I saw how bad it could get. Now, it wasn't catastrophic in my area. It wasn't too, too bad, but there was plenty of damage done. And it also led to pretty much my entire area having no power for close to two weeks, which I know, once again, not that bad. But I wanted to talk about this today because I could very easily sit down, hit record, and start talking about all these hypothetical, disastrous scenarios that could potentially happen. It's very easy to do that. What if, what if, what if? But I wanted to talk about something that actually did occur and some of the things that I noticed, some of the things that I experienced and saw with my own eyes due to lack of financial preparation for short-term emergencies. So when it comes to the silver and the gold, these are more so for the long term. These are for wealth preservation purposes. These are supposed to be a tool to be used as a hedge against inflation. I'm pretty sure most of us realize that. I'm pretty sure maybe we're not all on the same page, but we're probably at the very least in the same book. There's probably quite a bit of common ground here when it comes to stacking the silver and the gold as an alternative way of saving money. I consider it to be a good thing, but there is one downfall when it comes to storing your money in silver and gold or converting your cash for silver and gold. The reason I say this is because silver and gold, they do have a problem. The funny thing is the problem is simultaneously the solution. Let me explain. I've always viewed silver and gold as a money spending deterrent. This is a good thing for people that are reckless spenders Maybe they are obsessive consumers. They have a hard time going 15 minutes without buying something that they don't need. If they took their cash and put it into silver, it's being saved, but it's also unable to be spent unless you first go and convert that silver or gold back into cash. It requires a middleman, which is potentially a bad thing in some people's eyes. I don't consider it to be a bad thing. But even though silver and gold are very, very liquid, it requires an extra step. You have to first go to the coin shop. You have to go to a pawn shop. You have to part ways with it online. You have to do the whole shipping. and it, it, It's a little bit of a process. It can be very quickly done just by stopping by the coin shop, trading some silver for a little bit of cash and getting on with your day. But some people don't have the 10 minutes that that would take. 
some people's coin shop is 30, 40, 50, an hour, two hours away. So when it comes to financial preparation, yes, I am stacking the silver and the gold for the long term. I am not stacking this for the short term. What I'm stacking for the short term would be not money, some currency. Here's the same $75 I use in practically all of my videos. They're practically falling apart, so I thought it was time to replace them. Here's a little bit of cash, and I'm stacking cash. I've been stacking cash alongside my silver and gold for the last couple of years. No, this is not all of it. I've been stacking a little bit of cash alongside the silver and the gold because Hurricane Sandy back in 2012 really woke me up to the significance of preparation. Something that I had learned, not only preparing yourself for hurricanes and how to combat certain issues that can come along with heavy, heavy, heavy winds and whatnot, so like property damage and all that, generators, flashlights, we know all that. Something that we don't take into consideration is that when the power goes out, sure, you could walk around the house with a flashlight, absolutely. But what are you going to do if you need to go to the store? What if there's something that you need to buy? What if you go all the way to the grocery store like I did in 2012 during Hurricane Sandy and we're all walking around with our credit cards and debit cards but there's no power. See, the grocery store that I went to, yeah, they had a generator, but that was just to keep the lights on. It was cash only for the time being because credit cards and debit cards were electronic transactions. Electronic transactions cannot be made without electricity. So it was cash only. And I remember seeing a lot of people pull up to the grocery store in their brand new BMWs and whatnot. Men getting out of their cars with their suits. Women getting out of their cars with their fancy Louis Vuitton bags. Very clearly, middle class, upper middle class. People that were not financially struggling. But all they had were pieces of plastic which supposedly have their currency. But they couldn't use their credit cards. They couldn't use their debit cards. So one might say, not that serious, not that big of a deal. You could very easily just stop by the bank really quick before you go to the grocery store. Use your debit card to withdraw a little bit of cash. But again, that requires electricity. What if the power is out? I'm not talking about just a simple power out just because there's a storm. I'm talking about a really bad hurricane, something that did quite a bit of damage, and a lot of people are struggling. Now, granted, that was really only a week and a half or a two-week-long period, very far from the financial hardships people have been going through this year, practically the entire year. But the point I'm trying to get across is, without power... You can't make electronic transactions. And I saw a lot of people who make pretty decent paychecks momentarily struggling. It wasn't necessarily because of their finances, but it was because of their inability to get their hands on cash. There were a lot of people who could not get the food that they needed the water that they needed, the supplies that they needed at the grocery store. Because they were so reliant on their little pieces of plastic. Swipe, 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 swipe. Bing, bang, boom. It's easy. Simple. Don't even have to think about it. It doesn't require preparation to just swipe a little card. But what happens if your ability to swipe that card goes away temporarily? What if that happens? 
and you need cash. You cannot make any move without the cash. And you can't get the cash because the ATMs aren't working. Sure, you can drive out of town or elsewhere where ATMs are working, where maybe the power isn't down, but imagine having to go for a drive just to get cash and not just simply being able to stop at the bank really quick or just pay with your credit card or debit card. That's why I think it's vital to stack a little bit of cash alongside your silver and your gold. Now, I'm no financial advisor. I'm just a guy with a camera. Don't take this as financial advice. But something tells me, if you're stacking, but you're neglecting to stack at least a little bit of cash, you might be setting yourself up for failure. See, one of the main reasons for stacking and prepping in general are the big what ifs. Well, what if this happens? How can I combat it? What if that happens? How can I fix that? But you're failing to stack cash? I think you gotta stack cash. You gotta have a cash emergency fund. Preferably physical cash, not just in a savings account. Now, you can keep it in a savings account if you want. A savings account has its own issues again what if power goes out can't access the bank can't use the bank what if the ATM's not working but there's no power outage and there's a financial emergency and it's a Saturday morning banks closed can't wait till tomorrow it's Sunday banks closed too you gotta wait till Monday oh Monday's a holiday you gotta wait till Tuesday. You might not have until Tuesday. I think you should have a little bit of cash on hand just in case. And what I saw occur in 2012 was all that I needed to smack me in the face. Now, I personally did not have any issues because of the power going out other than not having power. I personally did not have issues when it came to not being able to buy certain things or get certain things, food, water, tools, equipment, supplies. That's not something that I personally had to deal with, but I saw firsthand people that pulled up in BMWs, people with Louis Vuitton bags, people with nice expensive suits on, being turned down for not having the cash. Which, by the way, happens to a lot of people year-round. People have financial hardships throughout the entire course of their life, some people. Not just people who make decent amount of cash and don't happen to have the cash on them. There's a lot of people who make significantly smaller paychecks. There's a lot of people who are living paycheck to paycheck. There's a lot of people who are financially struggling and hurting. Before 2020 happened... And now you throw 2020 on top of that, and it's even more difficult. A lot of average Joes, maybe you, maybe me, maybe him, maybe her, a lot of people experience financial hardships, which was one of the main reasons I started stacking silver and gold in the first place. I wasn't going through financial hardships at the time, but I knew if something were to occur, whether it be on a micro level or a macro level. Micro, referring to myself, my own personal situation. Maybe I get laid off of work, or maybe I get injured and I am unable to perform the tasks required for my job. Now I have no paycheck and potentially medical debt on top of that. Or what if it's a macro level? Maybe... March of 2020 would happen. We saw 10 million unemployment claims, and then we saw 20, then we saw 30, then we saw 40 million unemployment claims. We saw a lot of people who temporarily lost their jobs. We saw a lot of people who permanently lost their jobs. We saw people get hurt. We saw people get sick. 
worldwide health crisis that people were not prepared for. That's what I mean by macro. Something that occurs and affects tens of millions or potentially hundreds of millions or I guess in this case potentially billions. I don't think there's anybody on the planet that hasn't been phased in the slightest bit because of what occurred this year. The point I'm trying to get across is that's what I mean when I say macro. Something that affects people, it's the bigger picture. It affects a lot of people. The overwhelming majority of people or all people. Micro, I'm referring to just me. Me, my family, anecdotal versus essentially everybody. I knew that something could occur that could interfere with my ability to pay certain bills, buy certain supplies, keep a roof over my head, and have food on the dinner table. I knew that that was a possibility. Anything's possible. That's what inspired me to start stacking the silver and the gold for the long term, just in case. With, of course, some fiat glorified IOU dollar bills on the side, just in case something happens in the short term. That's what I believe. That's just my opinion. That's just my perspective. It's coming from my own personal experience that I had, what I saw with my own eyes eight years ago during Hurricane Sandy. And I'm curious to know, everybody watching this right now, what are your thoughts? Do you stack the silver and the gold for the long term? And do you stack a little bit of cash, maybe more so for the short term, in case something were to happen tomorrow or next week or sometime before the end of the year, or maybe sometime next year? Just a temporary, short-term financial situation alongside the silver and the gold, which maybe you're stacking for long-term wealth preservation purposes, but also for long-term financial preparation purposes. That's why I'm stacking. I'm stacking silver for one reason, gold for a different reason, and obviously cash for a different reason as well. I think each metal has its purpose. I think silver is important for a lot of different reasons. I think gold is important for a lot of different reasons, and cash, I do not consider to be money. I do not think money and currency are synonymous, but I will say cash, in my opinion, is an incredibly useful tool. Cash is the reason I'm able to go to the store and buy food. Whether I'm using the actual cash, the paper cash, or I'm using cash that's on my credit card or debit card, it's cash. That's how I'm able to buy the food that I need. That's how I'm able to purchase the equipment that I need. That's how I'm able to pay the bills that I need to pay. It's how I'm able to keep a roof over my head. Cash. It's a short-term solution to a short-term problem. Short-term problems would be, I need to pay a certain bill. I need to fix a certain thing. I need to buy a certain product. The only thing standing in my way is cash. You get the cash, the problem solved. You trade the cash for whatever it is that you need. Silver and gold, I would say it's a long-term solution to a long-term problem. Maybe not a solution, but as close to a solution as one could possibly get. And the problem would be likely inflation over years and decades to come. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. The reason that you're stacking some cash and the reason that you're stacking some precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. 
And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know if you're stacking a little bit of silver, stacking a little bit of gold, are you also stacking a little bit of cash alongside the precious metals for different types of financial prepping purposes? Are you stacking the cash for similar reasons why I'm stacking cash in the event of short-term financial hardships or emergencies? Not necessarily for long-term wealth preservation purposes. I don't think you can really do that with cash considering that it depreciates over time and it loses purchasing power kind of moving backward not forward but head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and if you think that financial prepping is important especially during times where there could be a hurricane head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow and remember don't you dare stop smiling peace